Now it's time for your morning rush. We're going to tell you everything you need to know before you head out the door this morning. First, a family is continuing to mourn the loss of their son after he tragically drowned just weeks before his graduation. Deputies say 18 year old Marcus Dwyer drowned Sunday afternoon near the small Orangeburg County town of North. Witnesses say they saw the teen jump off the Highway 321 bridge into the Edisto River. Marcus's family is asking Orangeburg County deputies for a full investigation into what happened. Deputies say there is no foul play suspected in this case. Well, the investigation continues into a second drowning, this time in Kershaw County. A body was found floating in a small pond off of Chestnut Hill Road on Monday morning. A car was also recovered at the scene. Investigators believe the car ended up in the water last Monday, and then deputies say that 33-year-old Randy McGee managed to get out of the car and tried very hard to swim, but unfortunately drowned. His body didn't surface until yesterday morning. The body is being sent now for an autopsy. More than 20 potential jurors have been approved in the case against Timothy Ray Jones Jr. Jones is accused of killing his five children back in August of 2014. He pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity for the five murders. Lexington County Judge Eugene Griffith repeatedly told jurors that the trial would likely start May 13th and stretch into early June. If Jones is found guilty, that same jury could potentially sentence him to death by a unanimous verdict. And SLED is investigating the alleged misuse of funds within the Lee County School District. Lee County School Board members uh, called for an investigation after he believed that funds from the Federal School Improvement Grant were not being used like they were supposed to be. Now, according to online documents, Lee County Schools have paid the Clarendon County School Superintendent $5,000 each month for consulting services. The Lee County Superintendent also received money totaling more than $17,000. The Lee County District responded by saying James is, quote, acting alone without board approval and support. Well, today is your chance to help one of 415 local nonprofits taking part in Midlands Give. The 18 hour giving challenge urges people to help nonprofits. They ask people to donate $20 or more Last year, our community gave more than $1 million to the charities taking part. Midlands Gives is ongoing right now and will run to just before midnight. News 19 will be doing reports throughout the day today as organizers make the push for donations. We've seen News 19's Whitney Sullivan out there already this morning. All right.